Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can boost your business by building an online store. Now you may be wondering why building an online store is so important. Well, many organizations like the International Monetary Fund have revealed how e-commerce has boomed during the COVID-19 pandemic and continues to grow. This means that for a brand to sustain itself in today's economy, an online presence and store are really essential. And by the way, if you wanna check out Shopify for your online store at any point in this video, you can use the link in the description to get a three-day free trial followed by a dollar per month for the first three months, which isn't a deal you'll be able to get by going directly to their website. To start off, you need to do some research about the market you are in, the products you're selling, and who you're selling them to. This will help you start building your marketing strategy by giving you an idea of how to optimize your content for search engines, also known as search engine optimization or SEO. You know when you search for a product and Amazon usually shows up at the top of your search results followed by a bunch of other websites, well, they rank so high in the search engine and result pages because they have a good SEO strategy. This involves extensive keyword research. With this, you can also choose the best phrases to add to your metadata and content so your business shows up when customers look for your products. Keep this in mind because we're gonna to return to SEO soon. All right, so once you have this foundation set, you're ready to start building your website. You can do this in two ways, either work with a developer or build your own website. If you decide to work with a developer, choosing the right one is very important. You can either have an in-house developer or work with an external agency. But whichever route you choose, make sure your developer is familiar with multiple e-commerce platforms so they determine the right platform for your vision. And if you choose an agency, it's also a good idea to get access to your content management system so you're not reliant on them to update your website and you can do it all by yourself. Now, a lot of people think that building a website yourself is too much hassle, but it can also be lots of fun and gives you complete control over your online business. Plus, with the number of e-commerce platforms available today, you're sure to find one that suits your needs. So that means choosing a platform is your first step. But how do you choose the right platform? Well, solutions like Shopify offer unlimited backup space, which is an excellent option if you have any seasonally bound products. For example, if you sell fruits and source them from multiple places every year, you're likely to need a host that allows you to back them up and store all your information. That way, instead of recreating a listing every year, you can simply analyze existing content and metadata, update and optimize them if needed, and relaunch the product during the right season. Plus, your platform determines the feel of your website. By this, I mean how responsive it is. And for this, every major e-commerce store builder comes with a wide variety of themes and templates. They're usually easily customizable, and you can find one that's suited to your niche and industry. This way, a visiting customer can tell at a glance what your business is about. About. Thanks to the popularity of drag and drop store features, you also don't need any coding knowledge to create your online store. However, the customizability of templates and themes can also affect how responsive your website is. If you move a lot of things around, it can affect how your store appears on a smartphone. With some platforms, you may even have to make a separate website for mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. So while it can be tempting to choose the cheapest option, I've always found it better to choose the platform that can meet your needs and help you scale your business. Besides, pretty much every platform gives you a free trial so you can safely focus on functionality without worrying too much about price. And after choosing a platform, the next step is to create a domain name and a logo. Of course, you don't have to set either in stone immediately. If you're only working with placeholders, that's perfectly fine, as long as you choose a platform that lets you change them later. Some platforms like Shopify and Wix will even help you with this, suggesting URLs and logos for your brand or business after you answer a brief questionnaire. You can even get suggestions about the ideal template for your website, so you remain recognizable and make an immediate impact. For example, if we take the previous case, you can set up your homepage to reflect the season itself, showcasing the most popular products for each season at the forefront of your homepage. So now you have a beautiful and functional store that reflects your business and your vision. You can set up all your pages, such as your About Us, FAQs, and contact page to be in line with your theme, and the only thing left to do is list your products. Remember when I mentioned SEO earlier? Well, I'll be discussing more on that right now. While listing your products with high quality pictures, catchy titles, and informative descriptions is important, it's equally important to ensure all the metadata is updated. The keyword research you did at the start now comes back for you to include in your metadata. Metadata is what the search engine reads to index your website. For example, you may use the keyword phrase fresh Alfonso mangoes in your metadata so the search engine can scan it and show your store when a potential customer searches for these fruits. Using an app integration like Yoast SEO helps here since it analyzes 
analyzes your website and suggests how you can improve your SEO and drive traffic to your website. Yoast is one of Shopify's 8,000 plus app integrations, while also allowing integration with WordPress and WooCommerce. And once you've listed your products following SEO guidelines and are ready to launch, the last step is setting up your payment method. E-commerce platforms today offer numerous payment gateway options and charge different transaction fees. Some even allow you to integrate a physical point of sale or POS system. This means that if you sell your stock in person, you can use this integration to automatically track sales and inventory without having to manually enter information. You can see how useful this would be in our grocery store example. If you sell your fruits at a farmer's market, that is a physical POS or point of sale. So choosing a platform that offers this integration would definitely be a good idea. If you have a larger business with international shipping, you may want to choose a platform that allows customers to buy products in their local currency. This makes the payment process as seamless as possible. And there you have it. That's all you need to know to start building your website. But what about which platform to choose? As I mentioned throughout my video, my recommendation would be to go with Shopify because it provides all these features to follow the steps that I just talked about. Well, that's it for today's video. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And if you want to check out Shopify for yourself, then check out the link in the description below so you can get any of the premium plans for just a buck a month for three months. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.